sentence that the jury decided uh, went against her, but that stone face, the description for people on the stand as, as to her behavior at, at a funeral, all these sorts of things uh, add up. Did you ever tell your client, and I don't mean play act, but, but show something in your face? Well, we did. We, we had a good bit of uh, conversation with her about that, about um, the, the clothes that she wore and, and the way that she reacted, but that's the way she is. Uh, and, you know, you can't change people, even though we talked with her about it and, and told her that, uh, you know, certainly everybody would be watching for that. Um, but, you know, you, you can't change people, and, and that's the way she is, and that's the way she reacted. Well, I, I can understand that. Uh, Pat, let me ask you about the poet. Uh, certainly we were all very interested in that technique and that was you're reading this po uh, Poisoner's Poem uh, which I think we've, we've got um, a still of which we can put up on the screen here and I actually read to our audience last week and you impose the words of this poem about choosing the place, the means, the time, ultimately I'm a poisoner, can you catch me, over the face of the defendant. Did you run this by the judge before you did this? Well, there's not a way to run it by the judge. That would be an ex parte communication, and we can't do that. Well, when you say ex parte, cer certainly if you don't have defense counsel there, but, but sometimes when, you're, when you know you're going to bring in something that hasn't been used in evidence, uh, although certainly one can quote the Bible or Shakespeare to their heart's content, but to do it in the fashion you did, uh, might, you, you might run that by the court first. Well, there's a long line of cases that talks about some of the things you can do and you can't. Uh, obviously, you can quote from works of literature and works of art. Even the quotations from the Bible now are limited if you actually are, are saying it's the Bible. But this was a work of literature, and the courts have indicated in the past that you can do that as long as it's relevant to the case. And I think you will agree that the poem was certainly relevant to this case. What about the, the presentation, though? Because those of us certainly in the television uh, medium understand that pictures have a great deal of power and to have her picture up it made me think of the Michael Skakel case where it was quite an amazing closing that was very powerful using the defendant's image the image of Martha Moxley uh, images from the the uh, scene of the crime did you calculate in your own mind that it would have much more impact flowing across her face than if you simply read the poem I don't know that I calculated that I think I was simply trying to give the jury uh, a picture of what we believe a poisoner looked like. Even in before we had the video systems that we have today in PowerPoint, uh, closing argument has always been sort of open to both sides so that you could put things on a board then and write on the board. Uh, I remember a demonstration that was done of a closing argument in Georgia where they actually started drawing a bullseye over the defendant's picture as they were doing a closing argument. And each circle was evidence that had been presented until they closed in and actually had the bullseye right on the defendant. Mm -hmm. well, so using PowerPoint I think is, is not a lot different. Yeah, well it's, it's very effective and, and so much so that Jim you uh, objected. What were the grounds then of your objection? Well I felt as though the poem was in first person. Uh, it was as if she were testifying uh, and I, I think that kind of presentation even though Pat had had indicated um, before he started putting it on that um, a toxicologist had actually written it. I think when you start putting it on the on the face uh, and it comes up as a first person saying, uh, I have done this, I have done that, uh, I, I think it has a different connotation and, and uh, we felt as though that uh, it was improper, made the objection, uh, asked the judge for a mistrial, uh, which of course the judge, uh, judge did not grant. I want to play a soundbite from Brian Fist. Uh, this is the MD who talks about the ethylene glycol being the, the cause of death, uh, ultimately actually a homicide. Let's listen. Now that I know he has ethylene glycol in his system to tell me that he has nauseous and had vomiting and that he had dizziness, all those symptoms are explainable by the ethylene glycol. So I believe that he died as a result of ethylene glycol toxicity and that all of the symptoms that he's displaying the four to five days prior to his death are all related to the ethylene glycol. I believe that uh, the manner of death of Maurice Glenn Turner is a homicide. 
All right, uh, Jim, let me ask you about that. Th this really essentially was an amazing forensics case, debating about the presence of this substance, how it broke down, whether absence or, or uh, you know, crystals in a certain place would indicate that this was not um, ethylene glycol poisoning. Are there any elements of the state's case that you see as appealable on these very critical issues? Um, I do, and also Dr. Frisk indicated if the ethylene glycol had not been found, he would have been satisfied with his cardiac dysrhythmia. The, the problem with the state's case uh, in the forensics aspect is that they did not find oxalate acid uh, in the liver, which is where it would be produced. Um, our expert, uh, Dr. Palmer, who testified, indicated that um, even though there was some amount, and we don't know what that level really means, 0 0.98 uh, milligrams um, per gram, we, we don't know what that really means, how that plays out. But we know that uh, the formic acid um, uh, can be produced upon death, and so I, I felt as though that there were certainly some questions, uh, and our expert said that uh, there were other reasons, uh, other uh, possibilities that ethylene glycol could be there. Well, it, Even him ingesting it himself yeah. uh, at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, well, it would be a, a gruesome way to die, I think, if you subjected yourself to that. Um, Pat, what about the admissibility of the evidence regarding Randy Thompson? Were you concerned about getting that in? Were you concerned if you didn't get it in that it would severely weaken your case against Glenn Turner, uh, about Glenn Turner? Well, I don't know that it would weaken Glenn Turner's case, and, and when we got it in, there was actually a, a hearing that went before Judge Botterford for almost two days, a little over two days. Normally in, in Georgia, if we're going to introduce similar transaction evidence, the prosecutor's allowed to make a proffer. In this case, the judge wanted to hear live testimony about what the evidence was going to be. And the judge wrote a 14-page decision granting the, the prosecution the authority to introduce this evidence. So then the defense appealed and the Supreme Court did not accept that interim appeal. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how big an issue that's going to be down the road. I know that obviously when they do the appeal, they're going to raise that as one of the issues. What, what about trial on that issue? You've got a, a life sentence now, an automatic life sentence from the, the Georgia judge. There's no statute of limitations on, on a homicide. Do you sit back and if this case is upheld on appeal all the way through, you, you leave the, the Thompson case alone or do you indict and prosecute? Well, Jack Mallard is the district attorney pro tem who was assisting me in this trial for Forsyth County. And he's the one that'll ultimately have to make that decision. I do know that it is scheduled to go to the grand jury in June. Uh, what he will do at this point in time, I don't know but I know he did reserve the block of time and already had made arrangements to make a presentation to the grand jury. He may talk to the grand jury about where we are today and get some direction from the grand jury. I, I really don't know what Jack's gonna do. Well, let me bring in Brandy McNeil because Brandy, uh, this is, is your brother. How do you feel about pursuing the case knowing this woman already has a life sentence? Um, I really hope that, that they go ahead with it. Um, you know, our family needs some closure. Um, you know, as, as relieved as we are that she's behind bars right now, um, you know, we, we, I hope that they go ahead with it as soon as possible. What does that mean, closure? And I don't mean at all to be flip about that, but, but, and I don't mean to talk about taxpayer dollars as if, gee, we don't want to waste the money. She is, however, locked up for the rest of her natural life, assuming this is not overturned on appeal, and to, to compound it with another life sentence doesn't change that. What is it that having a trial and a verdict on Randy's case, what, what difference really does that make to you? Well, you know, obviously it's going to come from an emotional standpoint for me and my family. Um, look what she put my brother through, um, you know, the weekend before he died, look how sick he was. Look at his three children, they don't have a father anymore. Um, so I want, my family wants to see um, a judge tell her that she's guilty for Randy Thompson's murder. Yeah, well, I can I can understand that. Tell me about the kids. Uh, that's just horrible. They they've lost their father, the your niece and nephew. Their their mother is now locked away. How are they doing? Where are they? Um, I, as far as I understand, at this point, they are with Helen, um, which is Lynn's mother. Um, 
right now we don't know how they're doing we're hoping and praying that they're okay um, handling this as well as can be expected we do want to have some contact with them and we are going um, you know to go forward with that at some point soon of course we need to uh, you know give it some time for the emotions to die down from everything that's just happened um, we are very very concerned about Amber and Blake um, we love them and we we do definitely want to have some some uh, part in their lives well, I understand that your mother and Glenn Turner's mother sort of bandied together to get uh, officials to look back at these cases. Is, is there any problem, you think, with the two families coming together now in terms of the children, or, or is that an uncomfortable situation? Um, I don't, I wouldn't see where it would be a problem, um, you know, for um, Kathy Turner and, and her family. Um, you know, they, they really don't have anything to do with the children because they, because they, uh, you know, were Randy's children. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they would like to get to know Amber and Blake just as well. Well, cer certainly that the aftermath of a case like this goes well beyond the defendant and the victims, as horrible as that might be. I certainly hope the children are all right. Brandy McNeil, thank you for your time. Jim Barry Pathead, much appreciated. All right, still ahead, the calm before the storm is a major, mo major motion picture gets set to hit theaters, and here's why it's getting some folks in Washington pretty heated up. But first, lawyers for the American... Not normal behavior for a Georgia red fox. But experts say it is normal to see one. This time of year, uh, foxes have had their pups and coyotes also, and they're out trying to find food to feed their uh, young. Any wild animal, you just want to avoid the animal, get away from it. If you can't observe it from a distance, just, you know, don't get close. Let it have its distance. Okay, the young lady was taken to a local hospital this morning where she was treated for the bite, but they're not going to know until tomorrow sometime if the fox was rabid. The fox was captured, and then by the time it got here to the Fulton County Animal Control Services Center, it had already died. So they have moved the fox's body to the local state lab to do those tests. Those tests do take some number of hours, so again, a very anxious night for this parent set of parents. For now, we're live at the Fulton Animal Control Center. Dale Cardwell, Channel 2 Action News. Thank you very much, Dale. Alabama authorities say they're discussing Jermaine Jackson's extradition back to Georgia. He is one of the suspects Georgia authorities believe was involved in the shooting that left two men dead, four others injured. That shooting happening at a Marietta duplex. Authorities in Alabama found Jackson hiding out in a family friend's home. Two other suspects, also in custody, have been charged with murder and assault. A man is behind bars for allegedly pushing an elderly man out of a second-story window in northeast Atlanta. Police say the two men got into an argument around 1 o'clock this morning in a home on Glenwood Avenue. A SWAT team was called in to get the 35-year-old suspect to surrender. The victim was taken to Grady Hospital with serious injuries. An alleged sexual predator, the FBI says, was targeting children, is under arrest. 33-year-old William Kreidsman of Canada was arrested Saturday night in Atlanta. Police say he arranged sexual encounters with the four-year-old girl's mother over the Internet. She turned out to be an undercover agent. Kreidsman, who is the president of a recycling business, now is in police custody. Traffic on I-285 returns to normal after a major sewage spill. A tanker truck spilled more than two tons of raw sewage and caused a bread truck to flip over. It all happened in Cobb County on I-285, just south of South Cobb Drive. Channel 2's Terry Mann was there. Traffic is moving a lot better now, but it was at a virtual standstill this morning after a tanker truck spilled raw sewage all over I-285. DOT workers took several hours to clean up the mess. I-285 was a complete and total mess, as bad as it gets. Two to three tons of raw sewage spilled all over the highway just as rush hour traffic was getting started. Well, I was uh, started on I-20 and had been backed up for a good 45 minutes up to this point. Traffic backed up for miles while DOT crews worked to remove the sludge from the roadway spilled by a disabled tanker truck. We had a uh, refuse truck from the water treatment plant, sewage water treatment plant, uh, coming down and one of his pins on the top of his truck broke loose. Uh, spilling uh, refuse all over. Three out of four lanes were covered with the slippery sludge that caused another accident involving this bread truck that tipped over. 
Workers eventually opened another lane, but the cleanup took several hours, and the rank smell in the air was almost unbearable. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Uh, hopefully, after a while, you kind of get used to it. Uh, so, uh, once you're down here, you're all right, but if, once you get up in it, it's pretty, pretty stout. DOT workers say they would have used water to spray down the mess, but they were worried that the toxic fluids would have drained into the ground in nearby streams and rivers, so they had to literally scoop it up and haul it away. One person was injured. They were taken to the hospital with minor cuts and bruises. In Cobb County, I'm Terry Mann, Channel 2 Action News. Our county-by-county county coverage begins today in Gwinnett County. Police have identified a motorcyclist killed in a hit-and-run overnight. Police say a 1997 or 98 Dodge Neon ran over 45-year-old Clarence Freeman of Snellville after the bike crashed early this morning on Bruce Way. Police still are searching for the driver of the Neon. Should students at Sugar Hill Elementary School be forced to wear uniforms? That's the topic of discussion right now at the Hall County Board of Education meeting. The board will also discuss the school system's proposed budget for next year. The Douglasville City Council will decide tonight if patrons in five restaurants will be allowed to light up while they play pool. Last week, the council granted a similar exemption to another sports bar with a pool table. The city's smoking ban took effect May 1st. It limits smoking to designated areas. Get ready to shut off the hose. We'll tell you when statewide water restrictions could become permanent. Then West Nile, the flu, or something else. Today, the Centers for Disease Control announced what could be the next major outbreak. And cheers and protests heard today in Massachusetts as the state passes a major milestone about gay marriage. We go there live next. Tonight at 6. I was graduating with honors and going to Georgia Southern. But he may not be now. A senior prank threatens to change the lives of five local students. It's the anniversary of Brown versus the Board of Education. Have our schools made progress? Channel 2 investigates. Tonight at 6 on Channel 2 Action News. Coverage you can count on. Bag Mom Jeans banned forever. Ambush. <laughs> the most outrageous makeover. That is amazing. What not to wear ever again. Margot Brooks. Tomorrow at 4 on Channel 2. Good night, Rex. Good night, Teddy. With Jeep Liberty and a no-extra-charge Jeep tent, backpack, and blanket, you can go anywhere night, Ted. and stay anywhere. Just another way we help you connect with nature. Hey, you guys, don't make me come out there. For a short time, buy or lease a Jeep Liberty starting around 18.9, and you'll get a rugged Jeep tent, backpack, and blanket all at no extra charge at your Jeep dealer today. America's number one furniture company does it again. Rooms to go now has the newest look at extra hot prices. Yours with no money down, no minimum purchase, no payments, and no interest until May 2006. That's May 2006. No interest adding up, no penalties, no interest, period. Rooms to go pays the interest for you until May 2006. Get great new looks at extra hot prices and no payments until May 2006. It's the real deal now at Rooms to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. When's the game on? The game on. Pretty soon? 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 Come on! Now that's deep. The new D2 Domino's Deep with its new thick, fresh baked crust, mozzarella, provolone, and new robust sauce. It's so deep, we had to get a new box. Buy a medium D2 pizza with two toppings for $9.99 and get any second medium pizza for just $5 more. Get the door, it's the new D2 Domino's Deep. Deep, deep. This morning, a water main break flooded homes and shut down parts of a major highway. Channel 2 kept you updated as crews cleared out the mess. Tune in tomorrow morning for major news from 5 to 7 a.m. on Channel 2 Action News. Coverage you can count on. Cheers breaking out today in Massachusetts as the state becomes the first in the United States to allow same-sex couples to legally apply for marriage licenses. Along with those cheering, protesters gathered near city halls where gay couples were lining up to get married. Reporter Heather Cabot is live in Cambridge, Massachusetts with the latest. Heather. Hi, Monica. Well, here at Cambridge City Hall, it was a busy and festive day. 270 couples filed for marriage applications. 22 of those were able to waive a three-day waiting period and get their marriage licenses so they could exchange their vows today. You may seal this marriage with a kiss. 
With that, these women became the first in the nation to legally tie the knot. It's certainly different to be recognized and to be able to, to have the right that we really deserve to have. All over Massachusetts, couples are affirming their commitments to each other and taking an historic stand for equal rights. Equality, you know, that love has no boundaries, that we are not second-class citizens any longer, and yahoo! Overnight, they lined up in Cambridge, where City Hall started taking applications at 12.01. In Provincetown, celebrations kicked off early this morning. As Massachusetts becomes the first state in the country to legalize same-sex marriage, it puts into practice the November ruling of its highest court. But the debate roils on here in the Bay State and across the country. Opponents say they will fight for a constitutional ban on gay marriage. It's a day of mourning for sure. Um, because of the impact on our society and our culture, the lead plaintiffs in the case that spurred Massachusetts to authorize the marriages exchanged their vows in Boston. On Good Morning America, they said they're hopeful that time will quell the opposition. And when they see these couples and they understand these people have been together, you know, over a decade and in most cases, everybody will just get a grip and come to terms with the whole process. Now, in the year 2006, Massachusetts residents are expected to vote on whether they want same-sex marriage to remain legal here. And on the national stage, the White House reissued its call for a constitutional ban on the practice. Reporting live in Cambridge, Massachusetts, I'm Heather Cabot, Channel 2 Action News. Thank Heather, you, Monica. Thank you very much. More details now on a proposed constitutional amendment that would ban same-sex marriage in Georgia. State legislators passed a bill that will put the issue on the November ballot. Activists on both sides are planning campaigns to get voters to the polls. Right now, state law bans gay marriage in Georgia. Hmm. I'm Ross Cabot, live in Cobb County. Three days after her conviction, Lynn Turner's attorneys say they're ready to ask for a new trial. That's what we'll hear from Glenn Turner's family and friends coming up in a live report. It's just unbelievable how much it, it costs to go to college. And consumer advisor Clark Howard joins us with shocking information about college tuition increases and why if you have young children you simply cannot wait to start saving. Glenn Burns in our severe weather center as you see the coverage of our afternoon showers has greatly diminished over the last hour. What's ahead for the rest of tonight and the rest of your work week? Stay tuned. Weather's next. ABC Tonight, a concert event 45 years in the making. Motown 45, featuring the Backstreet Boys, Wayne Brady, the Commodore, the Four Top, Macy Gray, Jermaine Jack, Gladys Knight, Nick Lachey, Kimberly Locke, Michael McDonald, Ryan McKnight, Raven, Smokey Robinson, John Stone, The Supreme, The Temptation, and more. Motown 45, hosted, hosted by us. us. It's the biggest karaoke sing-along on the planet. Motown 45, tonight at 8, 7 central on ABC. The largest trunk. One more reason why the Mercury Grand Marquis is the best value in its class. Now get 0% APR for five full years or up to 5,500 cash back. For additional discounts, see your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Do you pour it on your chicken? Do you marinate the steak? Do you brush it on your burgers when you grill it? Makes it great. How do you do it? How do you do your jail? quality pictures from your digital camera. Take the shots. We'll help you do the rest. With years comes wisdom. And between the two of us, well, we're pretty smart. There's something to be said for the value of experience. There's also something to be said for the value of a dollar. That's why we shop at Publix. Over the years, we've tried other grocery stores, but overall, Publix prices were better than most. Saving money and shopping where we really want to. Yeah, we're pretty smart. At Publix, saving is part of the pleasure. 
Hallmark of 04 returns this Thursday through Sunday under the tent at the Perimeter Mall, Astra Dunwoody Road. Cars for $29.95. Trucks for $49.95. All three models for $49.95. Auto Market 04 at the Perimeter Mall, Astra Dunwoody Road. Don't miss it. Now, your severe weather team two forecast with Chief Meteorologist Glenn Burns. Hope you're having a good Monday, and hopefully your lawns and gardens got a little dousing of rain today. If you missed out on today's rain, you'll have another chance for tomorrow. In fact, each and every day this week, we have a chance of those isolated late-day showers and thunder showers. Right now, it's 79 degrees, humidity at 54 percent. You have a light east wind at 7 miles per hour. The barometric pressure steady at 30.17 inches. Let me show you where the rain is now. Early warning Doppler 2 radar, some spotty showers across the Atlanta metro area for tonight, and you can see that there's very little motion here. They just kind of bubble up and then they bubble right back down. But the main concentration appears to be right in the heart of downtown. Uh, what luck for the afternoon rush hour, right? From Atlanta southward toward the East Point area, a uh, little area of showers down here. And you can see uh, very little motion here. They just kind of bubble up like this area in the northern part of the perimeter just bubbled up and then died right back down. This one's bubbling up here and it will also die too. Don't see any lightning here, uh, but nevertheless, there is always that potential for a lightning on our afternoon showers and thunder showers. Here's a look from space, and you can see clouds cover a good portion of north and northwestern Georgia this afternoon. What we have is uh, moisture-laden tropical air just billowing up from the Gulf of Mexico, thanks to our Bermuda High now setting up east of the Carolinas, and this pattern will likely continue through much of the week. So with an ample supply of Gulf moisture, a little daytime heating thrown in, we get our chance for those widely scattered to isolated late afternoon showers and thunder showers. All right, here's the way the weather map tomorrow looks at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. We could see a few isolated showers bubble up. Chance of rain tomorrow is at about 30 percent. And again, right in the downtown area at 2 p.m., we could see some isolated showers or thunder showers. We get the maximum daytime heating through late afternoon and early evening. And the main concentration of the heaviest showers will be on the northern part of Metro Atlanta. Let's say up toward the northern part of Cherokee County into Pickens County, then eastward toward Dawson and Forsyth counties. Anywhere across northern Georgia through the late afternoon, we could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Not everybody's going to see all this rain. That's just the potential that exists out there for tomorrow afternoon. Now, our lows tonight, our low this morning was 65. I think we'll be about 66 tomorrow. The average low for Atlanta is 60. Most of us in the mid-60s. Our daytime highs tomorrow, 79 at the airport, 84 downtown. Our high today was 79. Average is 80, so pretty close to where we should be. 82 in Rome, 80 in Gainesville, and 83 degrees in Griffin. Tonight, partly cloudy with those evening showers and thunder showers gradually ending. Low 63 to 67. They'll return tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be partly cloudy and our high 79 to 84 with a light south breeze. Five-day forecast, a typical good old-fashioned Georgia summertime weather pattern. Uh, looks like we'll continue with... Uh, Isolated afternoon thunder showers, maybe through Friday, becoming uh, partly cloudy Saturday. Don't see much in the way of rain as we head into the weekend. Highs are going to be warming, though, as drier air begins to filter in. And dry air always means a little warmer weather. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to move from the 70s into the middle 80s. Nothing typical of this time of year, but more like July. <laughs> Thank you. We want to update some breaking news. We told you about a little earlier in this newscast. We just learned the man struck by lightning in North Fulton County has died. He was 28 years old. He was working on a pool at a home on Classic Way this afternoon when he was struck. Emergency crews did CPR but could not save him. His name has not been released. Some of Glenn Turner's family and friends spoke out for the first time today after a Houston County jury convicted Lynn Turner of murder. Attorneys for Turner say they've written their appeal and will soon turn it into a judge. She was convicted on Friday of the 1995 antifreeze murder of her husband. Channel 2's Ross Cavett is live in Marietta with reaction to the verdict. Ross. John, you never saw much emotion from Lynn Turner during her trial over the last three weeks, but you see a lot of emotion in this mugshot taken at the Cobb County Jail this weekend. Her attorneys tell me they are ready to file their appeal asking for a new trial. In the meantime, Glenn Turner's brother and best friend told me the dramatic verdict from Friday night is still setting in. That was my brother and he was my life. And, and you know, I felt like I lost a part of myself when I lost him and, and I just, I had to get closure on it. James Turner and his wife came to every day of the trial, like many sometimes amazed at Lynn Turner's seemingly detached demeanor. She acted like she always has, like, you know, she doesn't have a care in the world, like she's above God. 
like you know she is God like she can't be touched and she acted like there was no concern no you you know you're wasting my time I, I'm here at DMV getting waiting on my driver's license or something I mean it was ridiculous as Glenn Turner's best friend Donald Coffin got to testify to tell jurors about what Glenn had said about his strained and marriage to Lynn when you step on that stand and look to your left and see 12 jurors sitting there you know reality's hit home we, the jury, find the defendant, Julia Lynn Womack Turner, guilty of malice murder. As the verdict more of a relief than a victory for those who loved Glenn. Lynn Turner's emotionless reaction Friday turned to a look of grief days later as she was booked into Cobb's jail, now convicted of murder. It's a happy, sad moment. It's not going to bring him back. She murdered him. She murdered Glenn. It's now been proven. Um, the family wants to get together one last time and have one last funeral service for him to be able to lay this to rest and you know hopefully in the near future we'll be able to do the same for Randy and everybody can get on with their lives. In fact uh, both uh, James Turner and Donald Coffin were urging prosecutors to hold another trial for Lynn Turner to hold her accountable uh, for the poisoning death of Randy Thompson back in 2001. Lynn Turner's attorneys on the other hand are saying the fact that Randy Thompson's death that, that it came up in the recent trial, that's reason alone to have her conviction thrown out and have a new trial held. Any decision on that is likely weeks or months away. Live in Marietta tonight, Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News. How quickly are we likely to see prosecutors move on the indictments in the Randy Thompson case? Well, during trial, uh, John, it came up that there would be a grand jury of, uh, as early as next month that would consider that, but after the trial, Special Prosecutor Jack Mallard said now with the conviction there's no hurry on that, but certainly I would think before the end of the year. Ross, thanks very much. The Atlanta City Council voted today to ask the federal government for more resources to antifreeze to poison her husband, Cobb County Police Officer Glenn Turner, in 1995. Although she showed no emotion during the trial, her latest booking photo from the Cobb jail shows a teary-eyed woman. Glenn Turner's brother tells us the verdict is giving the family some peace now we can finally move on with our life for that half of it even though it's all going to start over again with randy thompson's trial and you know and uh, she murdered him she murdered glenn it's now been proven um the family wants to get together one last time and have one last funeral service for him to be able to lay this to rest james turner hopes prosecutors will try lynn turner for the 2001 poisoning death of her boyfriend and the father of her children randy thompson her lawyers say thompson's death should not have been brought up during the first trial. A third man wanted for shooting six men in Marietta could soon be extradited. I want you to pay attention because along the southeast coast, from the Carolinas to Florida, dangerous rip currents. We saw three people killed, unfortunately, because of these rip currents off the coast of Florida, and it's still dangerous there. You want to be aware of that. Severe storms in the central part of the U.S., rain in the southeast, rain in the northwest. That's a look at what's happening with the weather around the nation. Now, here's what's happening in your neighborhood. Good morning. I'm Karen Minton. Temperatures this morning are in the 60s. We'll be on the way to the mid-70s by noon, around 79 by 4 o'clock. And there will be some isolated showers and thunderstorms. In your five-day forecast, we're going to have more chances of isolated thunder showers all the way through Friday. All right, thank you very much. This weather report was brought to you by Dairy Management. Charlie, back to you. All right, thanks very much, Tony. You may have seen the signs which warn that cell phones might cause explosions at the gas pump. Can they really? We'll have a report with everything your family needs to know. Coming up, stay with us. don't get enough calcium but with three dairy servings a day it's easy one two three it's easy have you had your three today well, that's it thank you everyone really great loan offers remember no points okay we'll let you know i think we got some pretty good mortgage offers there yeah of course we still need to pick a real estate agent Sorry about that, guys. Now you can find a mortgage and a real estate agent all in one place. At LendingTree.com, you can search for homes, select a real estate agent, and choose a mortgage. Plus, you can get up to a $2,000 gift card to the Home Depot when you close with an agent certified by LendingTree.
We always use grill mates when my old teammates come over for a cookout. It gives my grilling big, bold flavor. How big? Great steaks, Joe. Really big. Grill mates from McCormick. The taste you trust. Millions of people have high blood pressure. Are you one of them? New medical guidelines state that less than 120 over 80 is the normal blood pressure for most adults. High blood pressure medicine is recommended for numbers at or above 140 over 90. Fact is, about half the people already taking prescription medicine still haven't gotten their numbers down enough. And every day your numbers are not where they should be, you could be damaging the tiny vessels that lead to your brain, eyes, and heart. So how can you work with your doctor to help set and reach your BP goal? Get with the program, the new Take Action for Healthy BP program from Novartis. Find out if it's right for you. It's simple and comes with a money-back guarantee. Ask your doctor for a healthy BP pack. You'll start with a free 30-day first-time trial prescription to help you reach your goal, plus free blood pressure tools, including your own BP monitor. So get with your doctor, get with the program, and get your numbers down. With the wholesome goodness of granola and the great taste of chocolate, everybody can agree on kudos. Now everybody's happy. A Stark Howard consumer warning. Today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News. College costs are rising out of control. Are you prepared to pay for your child's college education? If not, then you're not alone. The biggest mistake they make is they start too late. Consumer advisor Clark Howard reveals shocking new information about college fee increases. Find out why even the Hope Scholarship may not be enough. Monica Kaufman, John Pruitt, today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News. Coverage you can count on. So can cell phones and gas stations be a deadly combination? You may have heard about the explosion last week that was blamed on a cell phone, and you've probably seen warning signs that are on a lot of gas pumps. With 158 million cell phone users out there, we asked our consumer correspondent, Greg Hunter, to find out just how real the danger might be. Could something as handy and seemingly harmless as your cell phone cause this? The chief of the volunteer fire department of New Pulse, New York says, yes. The cell phones can ignite gas fumes coming from the pump and cause a, a disaster. He says it happened in his town last week. The chief says a man was standing right here using this pump. You can see it's still charged. He was gassing up his SUV. His phone rang. He flipped it open to answer it and boom. And the next thing you know, he said he saw this big ball of fire. A worker triggered the emergency fire suppression system. It put out the fire. The man pumping the gas was not injured. But if you think this proves cell phones really can cause fires, well, not so fast. With the help of professional firefighters, Good Morning America put the myth to the test. Real gasoline, and if there's a spark, real danger. Now, I've just pressed send to call that cell phone with this cell phone. There you have it. No fire. Experts we consulted doubt a cell phone started the new Pulse fire. So what did? They speculate it may have been static electricity. When you scuff your feet on the carpet, you can get up to 35,000 volts. In a car situation, we have seen as high as 60,000 volts. And that's enough to catch gas fumes on fire. The plenty. We first demonstrated this rare but very real danger more than a year ago. Static electricity sparked this incident captured by security cameras in San Antonio, Texas. The customer was badly burned, but survived. <laughs> Static is also suspected in this 1996 fireball at a Tulsa, Oklahoma gas pump. It took the life of a 33-year-old woman. The Petroleum Equipment Institute reports on its website. It's counted 158 reports to date of gas pump fires attributed to static electricity. A cell phone signal is far too weak to ignite even explosive gasoline fumes. And no one we talked to is aware of a single documented case of a cell phone starting a fire at a gas pump. And Greg Hunter, our consumer correspondent, is joining us this morning from New Paltz, uh, New York. Greg, if there is no proven connection, why are these warning signs on so many gas pumps? 
Well, they have warning signs here in New Paltz at this uh, mobile station. The cell phone industry says that's because gas stations bought into a myth without checking out the facts. They cite two studies that show there's virtually no evidence that cell phones can ignite gas pumps at a gas station. All right, so if the real danger is from static electricity, how can you avoid... You the... I'm sorry, go ahead. How can you avoid having static electricity when you're actually pumping gas? Even though they're rare, there have been 158 incidents of static electricity fires. Number one, when you get out of your car, touch your car, and uh, discharge that static electricity. That usually happens anyway. Number two, this is a big one. When you start filling up your car, put the nozzle in the, in the, in the tank, if you get back in your car, slide across your seat, you get charged. And if you walk out without touching the roof of your car or discharging that spark, you can cause a fire. Number three, if there is a fire, do not, and I know it's human nature to pull it out of the tank, but do not pull the nozzle out of the tank. Experts say that's the worst thing in the world you could do, and they also say if you leave the nozzle in the tank, the fire may go out on its own or probably will go out on its own. And number four, when you're filling up your little gas tank for your weed eater and your, and your gas tank for your lawnmower, don't leave it in your trunk. Don't leave it in the bed of your truck. Here's why. Those gas fumes are heavier than air, so they fill up the bed of your truck, they fill up your trunk, and if there is a static electricity charge, a static electricity spark, you'll have a big problem and a fire. All right, some good advice there on static electricity and pumping gas. Greg Hunter, thanks very much. And if you want to uh, get those tips down to avoid static fires, go to our website, abcnews.com, and the tips Greg just gave you will be there. Still ahead, well, our glam squad does a radical mom over, taking a few years off somebody's life in just three days. We'll explain how that's going to happen a little bit later. Stay with us. Kind of looks like the Rocky Mountains, huh? Nice. The new Denver Scramble from Denny's. Eggs scrambled with diced ham, green peppers, and cheese. Or try the country with crumbled sausage or the Fiesta with seasoned ground beef. All served with hash browns, bacon, sausage, and pancakes. Just $4.99. Want a good place to sit and eat? Go to Denny's. The worse my congestion got, the longer my route took. Now, I'm clear to go. I thought my old allergy medicine cleared up my symptoms. But Claritin D helped me find another level of clear. Claritin clear. Clarit and Clear means non-drowsy relief from your worst symptoms, even congestion. I used to focus on my sinus pressure, not the game. But Clarit and D gave me powerful prescription strength relief. Non-drowsy 24-hour Clarit and D. There's Clear, then there's Clarit and Clear. The house is riddled with mold, and he is highly allergic to... Oh, 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 oh. can give our HOA as much as wrinkles? Loss of firmness. New Titina Visibly Firm, the only moisturizer that replenishes copper. The collagen building mineral essential for firm skin. Want to be firmer here, here, here? I do. New Titina Visibly Firm. When choosing a Medicare-approved drug discount card, what's right for one person isn't always what's right for the next. So how do you know which one will save you the most? Call 1-800-MEDICARE. We'll compare cards for you, based on your needs. You'll be able to choose the card that's right for you. Call 1-800-MEDICARE now to help you compare. I know. I did the research. Introducing the 2004 Isuzu Ascender. Ascender and value always come up together. Its inline six is more powerful than most V8s. So that's what 275 horsepower feels like. It's all for one great price and backed by one terrific warranty. That warranty will cover us through third grade. The new Isuzu Ascender. Spend less. Go farther. Right now, get 0% APR or save up to $4,500 at all participating Isuzu dealers. People say I'm obsessed with saving time. That's ridiculous. Sure, I like to get a head start on dinner. So I created Purdue Shortcuts. They're fresh, fully cooked, 100% Purdue carb chicken breasts. 
No preservatives or artificial colors, and they're delicious on pizza, fajitas, salads, or just about anything. But to call me obsessed with saving time, that's crazy talk. Purdue, a healthy obsession with chicken. Bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, birth announcement. It's a girl. Ooh, it's a girl. Oh. Gwyneth Paltrow, yes, had a baby, and they decided to name her Apple. Okay. Apple. Yes, Apple, Apple is her Apple. name. And of Apple course, she was Blythe Martin. Apple Blythe Play. Allison Martin. Right. Apple Blythe Allison Martin. So it got us thinking this morning. I, uh, Always about dangerous. Naming, uh, yes. Always dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> about naming our children after our favorite fruits and vegetables. I don't suppose okra nickels would ever <laughs> anybody. Yeah. I like sister. grapes, but that's not a good name. I, I watch Okra Winfrey all the time. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you tell? It's Here Monday morning, go. folks. It is. These are the jokes, people. These are the jokes. The baby was the baby was nine pounds eleven wow. ounces. Wow. That's a big apple. <laughs> right. Congratulations right. to the couple. We do. They it's are so, so nice excited. to see them. The yes, Beatles may sue her for using the name Apple for <laughs> if history Over the moon. Sure. The allergy season's in full force. Most OTC allergy medicines may not last as long as you want. Not Benadryl allergy, not Chlorotrimeton 4-hour, not Tylenol severe allergy. But just one dose of one daily Allegra lasts up to four times longer than one dose of most OTC allergy medicines for people 12 and over. Side effects are low and may include headache, cold, or backache. Don't let another allergy day go by without Allegra. Because who knows how long this allergy season will last. Long-lasting Allegra. The relief goes on. Sidious Black has escaped from Azkaban prison. I hope he finds me. Because when he does, I'm going to be ready. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Bow, the light is an evil little cockroach! Rated PG. Starts Friday, June 4th. Millions of people have never tasted a hot dog because they've never tasted Hebrew National. A delicious taste that comes from premium quality kosher beef made under the strictest of standards. Soon everyone will be saying, yes, I have tasted a hot dog. And boy, was it good. Looks like Lydia didn't realize that with her CVS Extra Care card, she earns an extra buck with every two prescriptions. Oh yeah. She earns extra bucks on almost everything she buys. They're as good as cash at any CVS. Now that doesn't happen anywhere else, does it, Lydia? That's right. You earn an extra buck with every two prescriptions, only at CVS Pharmacy. If you wanted to create the ideal health drink, you'd want lots of vitamins, like the vitamin C you find in rutabagas. And thiamine. Can't beat liver. And for vitamin B6, Brussels sprouts. Plus minerals like potassium and magnesium. Mmm. Or you could just drink a glass of Florida orange juice. Full of nutrients and antioxidants that may help fight heart disease. Drink Florida orange juice every day. It's supposed to rain all weekend. I hope that doesn't spoil the kids' plans. Don't you think Sue was looking too thin? Dealing emotionally with the loss of a loved one rarely ends with a funeral. That's why Dignity Memorial Funeral Providers offer our 24-hour Compassion Helpline. Your local Dignity Memorial Provider invites you to call 1-800-DIGNITY for your free reference guide. Circuit City is the place to get your new wireless phone today. You'll get great service from Verizon Wireless. And right now at Circuit City, you'll save up to $100 instantly on all camera phones. Like this awesome Verizon Wireless color screen phone with digital camera. Just $29.99 after mail-in rebate and instant savings with a two-year agreement. Can you hear me now? Good. If you're ready for a new wireless phone, get a cool new Verizon Wireless phone today at Circuit City. Good Morning America is brought to you by the Florida Orange Growers. Florida Orange Juice, the best start under the sun. Tonight on ABC, it's the concert event of the year. Motown 45, with performances by Macy Gray, Jermaine Jackson, Nick Lachey, Kimberly Mock, Smokey Robbins, Josh Stone, and more. Motown 45, tonight at 8, 7 central on ABC. 
This is it. Will the Bachelor pick Jessica or Tara? I'm freaking out a little bit. Two women. It's, it's a scary feeling. Two hours. This is big. Too good to miss. I just don't want to go. The Bachelor, two hours season finale, 9, 8 central, ABC Wednesday. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News this morning. Coverage you can count on. It is 7.56. Good morning to you. I'm Pam Martin. And I'm Warren Savage. We'll update weather and traffic in a moment. First in the news, President Bush comes to Atlanta later today. He'll attend a fundraiser tonight at the home of Home Depot boss Bob Nardelli. The president hopes to add to his record-setting campaign coffers with a private dinner. Continuing coverage of the visit on Channel 2 Action News at noon. Gwinnett County Police looking for a car involved in a deadly motorcycle crash overnight. Police say a vehicle ran over the motorcyclist on Bruce Way and kept going. The victim died at the scene. We have had a mess of a morning commute with some unusual problems. Here's Mark Era. Yeah, we do, Pam. Big mess on the west side perimeter. Still only one lane open from earlier trouble. 285 northbound South Cobb Drive. Take a look at some earlier video from the chopper. 285 north of the Chattahoochee River before the South Cobb Drive exit. That crash uh, involved an overturned bread truck. Some sort of mysterious slippery substance on 285. The culprit, authorities are still not sure what that substance is, but traffic is gridlocked, backed up on the west side perimeter. Take a look at traffic tracker, too. Look at this, not even moving. 285 northbound at the I-285 interchange with I-20 on the west side, jamming you up back toward Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. A lot of folks avoiding that, taking the downtown connector. Instead, that is very slow, heading up from Hartsfield-Jackson into Midtown. I'm Mark Aram, Triple Team Traffic, Channel 2 Action News this morning. All right, Mark, over to Karen with an update on the forecast. And our weather right now, our skies are clear to partly cloudy across North Georgia. And as we get into the afternoon, we're going to increase the clouds, turning mostly cloudy, giving us a chance for some isolated thunderstorms this afternoon with a high of 79 degrees. Thanks so much, and thank you for counting on Channel 2 Action News. Join us again at 825 and get updates on this morning's top stories on WSBTV.com. And be sure to join John Pruitt and Monica Coffin on Channel 2 Action News at 5 and 6. Good morning, America continues. Friday at 5, Channel 2 took you inside a drug stash house. Cops made sure these stacks of marijuana will never hit the streets. For complete coverage of major news, tune in today at 5 on Channel 2 Action News. Coverage you can count on. Macaroni and cheese is a good source of all these nutrients. You gotta love the cheesiest. Big news from the booth. Why do my trash angles stay so good? The dairy curries mixes up the milk with a little magic. Kids know about taste. They don't know that Kraft American singles have double the calcium. Double the calcium of many other American slices. You know, with ordinary vinyl siding, the sun can cause yellowing or fading in just a few months. But our new Dixie Freedom Siding is an advanced super polymer, guaranteed to never yellow or fade, or will replace it. So don't install ordinary vinyl siding that'll look like it needs painting in a few years. Choose Dixie Freedom Siding, the super polymer that'll never fade, guaranteed. For a free quote, call Dixie Home Crafting at 770-455-6450. Now's the time to get your air check for spring. Trust the name Atlanta's trusted for three generations. We'll get it running at its best. SP's the right address for comfort and efficiency. What's inside this sewer is a crime illegally dumped grease. Tens of thousands of gallons. Channel 2 uncovers a dirty business that costs taxpayers millions. Tonight at 6 on Channel 2 Action News. Coverage you can count on. ABC News, winner of the prestigious Peabody Award for Broadcasting Excellence. Channel 2 reveals shocking information about rising college costs today at 5. Live from the crossroads of the world, Times Square, this is Good Morning America with Charles Gibson and Diane Sawyer. I love that shot, but it looks like our cameraman has been up all night in the crossroads in the world doing who knows what there. Good morning, America. It was a little dizzying, but great. This is the program with the money-back guarantee. We welcome you here. It is Monday, May 17, 2004. And it is impossible to believe that it has been 50 years now since the anniversary of the landmark Supreme Court case that ended school segregation 50 years ago a nation legally divided in its schools. And you're going to meet a brave woman who took a stand and helped change the country 50 years ago. And we have a reunion in store for her, someone she hasn't seen and never expected to see again. 
We are going to kick also a special project off today, our glam squad of doctors and beauty specialists. We're going to do a couple of mom-overs, helping two deserving women look, dare we say, 10 years younger in just three days. Is that possible? We will talk to the experts and find out and talk to our two very kind guinea pigs. And we also have some gold medal, well, we have gold medal morning of sports, fashion. The U.S. Olympic swim team hopefuls are going to model the hot new swim shoot fashions. And the Olympic gymnast hopefuls are going to fly through the air in Times Square. And all of that coming up. One thing you can be sure of, there will not be anything that jiggles on any one of these models. <laughs> they are the most muscular group of people I've ever seen in one space in my life. And they're good kids. They, they are, are great so kids. Up. Let's go to Robin Roberts at the news desk. All right, Charlie, thank you. Good morning again, everyone. The president of Iraq's governing council was killed this morning in a powerful car bomb in Baghdad. Izzedin Salim was among at least six people killed this morning in the suicide blast outside coalition headquarters. U.S. officials say plans to transfer power to Iraqis June 30th will not be derailed. Same-sex marriage is now the law in Massachusetts, the only state where it's legal. Couples who've waited years to marry waited hours to be among the first to get their license. Some judges plan to waive the usual three-day waiting period so couples will be able to get married today. A milestone in the country's struggle for racial equality happened 50 years ago today. Brown versus Board of Education struck down segregation in public schools. However, integration remains incomplete. ABC's Kate Snow joins us from Topeka, Kansas, where an elementary school was at the center of this historic Supreme Court ruling. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Robin. President Bush will be here today. He'll hail the decision Brown versus Board of Education as historic. He'll say it helped the nation cross a line, but many scholars now say that line is blurring. It's hard to remember what the country was like before the landmark case being celebrated today, how entrenched segregation had become. Brown was about dismantling a system of white supremacy uh, that subordinated African American students and deprived them of equal educational opportunity. It didn't happen right away. By the late 60s, schools were finally being integrated. But on this anniversary day, there's concern that progress is being eroded. We've been going backwards in terms of school integration now since the early 1990s, and it's affecting schools in every part of the United States. More than a third of all minority children now attend public schools that are 90% minority. You look around the classes, you never see white children. It, it looks exactly like the photograph of Mississippi 50 years ago. White children on average attend schools that are 80% white, and only 14% of white kids go to multiracial schools. Laws have changed. Many parents are now more concerned that their kids' schools have money than interracial classrooms. I think, sadly, 50 years after Brown, we're looking at having to make separate but equal really equal. Now, certainly things have changed since that historic decision, but many here today will say that Brown was really not an end, Robin. It was the beginning of a fight that's still being fought today. All right, Kate. Thank you. Kate Snow in Topeka. Some of the parents of the Columbine master victims are upset about the first interview given by the parents of one of the killers. Tom and Susan Klebold told the New York Times they feel no need to be forgiven for their son Dylan's actions. But his mother added, I think he suffered horribly before he died. For not seeing that, I will never forgive myself. Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris killed 13 people before taking their own lives. The epic Troy, starring Brad Pitt, was victorious at the box office. Troy earned about $46.5 million over the weekend, not quite making the $50 million mark expected from a summer blockbuster. Not bad, though. In the number two spot, Van Helsing. And in third place, hey, I went to see this, Mean Girls. It's okay. That's the latest news, 804, latest weather. Downstairs to Tony Perkins with our lovely studio audience. Our lovely audience. As a matter of fact, before we get to the weather, this is Joyce. Joyce, where are you from? Washington. State of Washington. Take a look at the sign that <laughs> Joyce is holding. I babysat Diane Sawyer. Is that really true? That's the truth. How old was she when you babysat uh, her? Around five. And, and what was your what was your name then? Joyce Ann Shrewsbury. Joyce Ann Shrewsbury. So we'll have to see if she actually remembers you. How was she as a kid? Was she pushy and bossy? Oh, no. No? No, wow. not, not Diane. No, so she's changed a lot. That's right. 
very good, huh? <laughs> joking? I am joking. All right, now, take a look at what's happening with... It's been a pleasure working here. Here's what's happening with the weather around the nation. We'll put it in motion for you. Here we go. We start with Detroit. We'll be there tomorrow. 80 degrees for Detroit. Thunderstorms later on today and tonight. They could be heavy. Oklahoma City tops out at 85 degrees. Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. You're going to look for some thunderstorms as well. Las Vegas, well above normal at 93 degrees. That's a look at what's happening with the weather around the nation now. Here's what's happening in your neighborhood. Good morning. I'm Karen Minton. Temperatures this morning are in the mid-60s. Uh, skies are clear over most of the state. High pressure is still out in the Atlantic as the Bermuda High pumps up a lot of moisture. It's going to increase our clouds during the day. During the heating, about 77 to 82 your expected highs today. There will be some isolated showers and thunderstorms building in. There's about a 40% chance for that. And as we check out the five-day forecast, every day this week we have a slight chance for some isolated showers or thunderstorms and temperatures will be warming up by the end of the week. Thank you very much. Well, Joyce babysat Diane, and you say you want to... I want to babysit Charlie. We'll, out for you. we'll have more weather coming up in a little bit. Diane, back to you. You can tell her babysitting Charlie's been my job, okay? <laughs> anyway, as you heard Kate Snow say in the news, it's very hard to remember that it was 50 years ago when segregated schools were legal in this country. Before the case of Brown versus the Board of Education, changed it. It was the Supreme Court decision everyone said was so bold. But in fact, the bravest people of all turned out to be the very young students who had to live the change. No segregation. No segregation. 1954, the Supreme Court declares the legal end of segregation in schools. But it will be the young African-American students who have to conquer the new world on foot bravely walking into schools around the country where they're not wanted. Determined to turn a legal victory into a human triumph. Morally, I knew it was right, and I knew that I should be able to have the same opportunities as anybody else did, and this would afford me that opportunity to get an equal education. In the fall of 1957, then 15-year-old Dorothy Counts of Charlotte, North Carolina, entered Horace Harding High School alone. There were a lot of boys there. And the boys started to shout at her. And there was no attempt to get them away or shut them up. In the crowd, watching from among spectators and hecklers was Richard Stolle, a young reporter for Life magazine covering race relations in the South. It was an amazing experience to be there because Dorothy, outside the school and in, never looked at them. She looked straight ahead. Counts was unimaginably strong, but she had her limits. People could call me nigger. I've been called that before. But I think the most humiliating piece is for somebody to spit on you, and as you're walking, the spit's hanging from, the, from, your, from your clothing. Life inside school wasn't much better. There were glimmers of hope as Life magazine captured one of the rare moments when some of Count's classmates attempted to befriend her. You could see her slowly relax and talk to them and, and smile, and they were talking about courses she was taking and all the rest. You know, little things would happen like that would make me, you know, you say, okay, maybe, you know, maybe they're getting, maybe they're beginning to understand. Maybe they're going to accept me. Maybe everything's going to be, okay. and I really believe that. But on one day, her hope was overshadowed by a dangerous reality. I was hit in the back of my back, and I was hit in the back of the head with a sharp object, and that was the first time I felt violence. And um, as I proceeded to go outside, my brother was sitting in the car waiting to pick me up, and uh, the back window of the car was shattered in a million pieces. And that was the first time that I ever felt fear. On that day, after just one week of enrollment, Counts left Horace Harding High School and never returned. Forty-seven years later, she says she bears no bitterness, no regret. Somebody had to do it. Somebody had to take a stand. And for the young man watching in the fall of 1957, the young girl captured on film stayed in his heart. He had followed her every step of the way. She's probably the student I remember most vividly because she was so alone and because she was so brave. And I have never seen her since then. Ironically, back then, the young student and the young reporter never officially met. 
four decades later? Oh, uh, dear. Dorothy. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dear. Thank you, that's wonderful. <laughs> you survived that day. Boy, I wasn't sure I was going to. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Wonderful. You look beautiful that day. Well, thank you. You weren't being treated very beautifully yeah, that day, I'll yeah, say that, yeah. though. Each a witness to history, each changed. You look content and happy. I am. And I thought, God Almighty, anybody who went through that. That experience was a positive experience. It made me take a hard look at myself, and so it passed my life. You know, this is not going to happen to others. Two strangers sharing hope and heartbreak, looking back through the lens of time when America changed. Yes, yes. And together now, we'd like to thank AARP, the magazine, and its Voice of Civil Rights Project for bringing Dorothy and Richard's story to our attention. Coming up next, take a last look at these two very deserving women, our glam squad, about to strip 10 years off their lives in three days. They say they can do it. New Skippy Snack Bars present the Nutshell! Skippy Snack Bar! First you take the Skippy and you spread it, you spread it. Then you take granola and you crunch it, you crunch it. Skippy peanut butter, creamy goodness, so rich and so creamy. Mm -hmm. Skippy Snack Bar! So smooth, it's delicious, delicious. Oh, oh. Skip it, snack bar. Allergies used to take the fun out of games. Now, I'm Claritin Clear. I used to suffer all day rather than risk getting drowsy. With Claritin, nothing gets in my way. Claritin Clear means non-drowsy, 24-hour relief from your sneezing, runny nose, and itchy eyes. Up here, I gotta be alert. Claritin relieves my toughest symptoms without putting me in a fog. One pill, 24 hours, and I'm in control of my allergies. Claritin, non-drowsy, 24-hour relief. There's clear, then there's Claritin clear. Prescription Nexium Daily not only gets rid of heartburn, more importantly, it also heals acid reflux erosion. And healing is such a great feeling. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. Talk to your doctor. The most common side effects of Nexium are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Don't let acid reflux eat at you. Next time, ask your doctor about Nexium. I'll take that. Because healing is such a great feeling. In our Monday morning makeover, we're going to introduce you to two working women, a newly divorced mom and a newly married jewelry designer who want to 
Well, they want to do what so many people do. They want to turn back the hands of time, if that is possible. And, dare we say it, lose 10 years in three days? Does that sound impossible? Well, we have assembled a team of experts, and we're uh, calling it Good Morning America's Mom Over Team. Let's take a look at these top professionals that we've assembled. Six professional women, more than a dozen children among them, each juggling high-powered careers and motherhood, each with a different specialty. Dr. Pamela Lipkin is one of New York's top plastic surgeons, specializing in fixing botched nose jobs and eliminating wrinkles. But Lipkin says her proudest achievement is her 12-year-old son. Dr. Wilma Fernandez Antonio juggles raising two children and a private dental practice. She whitens and brightens even the dullest of smiles. Dr. Penny Aspell, another mother of two and a top eye surgeon at the renowned Mount Sinai School of Medicine. Her mission? to help people get rid of glasses forever. Ellen Kunis, mother of six-year-old twin boys, has pioneered the direction of women's magazines for over 20 years. Today, she's the editor-in-chief of Red Book magazine. Janine LaBelle, mother of four and creator of Stila Cosmetics, has perfected the art of transformation. The environmentally friendly brand is worn by Hollywood's biggest stars, among them Nicole Kidman and Diane Lane. And Rebecca Forecast is one of the senior stylists at the prestigious Sally Hershberger Salon in New York. Her clients include Sex and the City star Cynthia Nixon and her own two children. And now we want you to meet the two women who will be looking 10 years younger, we hope, in just three days. Jennifer Woodhouse and Rachel Bertoni. And I thank both of you uh, for being with us. So, when you heard that we were going to do this crazy thing of trying to make two people look 10 years younger in three days, what would you think? Well, I got pretty excited. And what did you think could be done for you? Um, well, I really didn't know, but it's been a number of years of um, working on my inner self. And since working at Bertone Gallery uh, seven days a week, 16 hours a day, I've kind of let myself go and thought this would be a great opportunity for me. Okay. And how about you? Well, I have uh, two boys, seven and five, who keep me extremely busy, and um, I have not really kept up since they were born, and I got divorced last summer, which also took a big toll on me, and um, I just want to start looking younger, and uh, I'm dating a younger guy, and I thought I'd try to try to look his age. Okay. We <laughs> <laughs> is he nine? <laughs> All right, just a little younger he is. Okay, now we have put together six experts here, and I'm going to go talk to them in a moment. But tell me the one thing that you most want to have done. I'd like to lose the glasses. Lose the glasses. Yeah. All right, how about you? I would have to say the same. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, that's going to that's gonna be the challenge for Dr. Aspen, right? <laughs> right? All right, let me go over, and I'm going to, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to walk past them here. And Ellen, let me just, I'm going to turn to the three doctors in a moment, but what's the one thing you're going to do for these people? Uh, tomorrow we're going to take them to a showroom where we're going to get them a few key pieces to really up their style quotient, make them younger and sexier. Clothing. Clothing. Okay. What are you going to do for them? Well, let me have you come out here so they can see you. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Um, well, before I even start with the makeup, on Rachel, I really need to lighten her eyebrows, and on Jennifer, we need to darken them, and then we'll just give them a nice, fresh, young look. Okay. And let me, I don't want to lose you over here. Come on, this is tough choreography here. I apologize. I'm going to give them both a much more modern look. Bring them up to date. We're going to change the color, make them much more striking, and much sexier, softer hair. Okay, all right. Uh, let me have you come back in. I'm sorry. Now, so what are you going to do when you approach them? Well, I'm going to whiten up their teeth, and then for Rachel, maybe uh, some bonding, and now definitely whitening, too. A little bonding. A, a little bonding there. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. but you mean in yes. teeth. Right? Let me have you smile both, because you both have a little yellowing of the teeth over the years. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be something you want done as well. But they both said, Dr. Espel, they want to get rid of the glasses. We've got our challenges. But, you know, one of the interesting things is the first thing you look at usually when you're talking to somebody, their eyes. So, um, in fact, these glasses actually make the eyes look a little smaller. So, y you know, if you take a look here, and maybe we can actually show, if they take off their glasses, you can actually see their eyes sort of look larger, their face opens up, and it does make them look sort of more open and, and younger. So uh, I think we'll do a good job. All right. And I talked about wrinkles there a moment ago. 
Can you do something on that? Well, we're going to be injecting Restylane, which is the state of the art filler these days, to basically fill out the lines, uh, plump out the lips so that they frame the new teeth, basically take away the early signs of aging. All right. Now, we, we have advertised this as taking off 10 years in three days. Is that too much of a promise or doable? We can totally do it. Totally do it. All right. There's one vote. Agreed? Now, these are just little tweaks. These women are going to look amazing when we're through with them. Absolutely. I think you'll be surprised at how young these women are going to look. Ten years in three days, though, Dr. Fernandez and Tony. Definitely. Definitely. Dr. Aspel? I think we'll do it. Dr. Lipton? They're going to look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's quite a challenge. Ten years. I'm gonna, pardon me for crossing over in front of you again. <laughs> that's quite a challenge. Ten years in three days. You up for it? I think so. Okay, and where do we start? Do you know where we're going to start? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, well, we are, we are going to start today, and we will have, uh, well, we'll have some progress reports tomorrow, and then Wednesday, uh, you'll see. The three days will be up, and we'll show you exactly what our team is able to do with the mom over. Stay with us. It'll be interesting to see. Good Morning America's Monday Morning Makeover is brought to you by Olay. Love the skin you are in. and saw such a difference in my skin. It inspired me. Olay Daily Facials. Cleanses, tones, exfoliates, conditions. Like a little bit of a facial every day. They say change is good. I say change is great. Olay Daily Facials. Love the skin you're in. It's a beautiful morning. I was never one to sleep in. And even with my arthritis, I still look forward to going to school. The kids always ask me, Mrs. Shepard, how come we hardly ever have a substitute? And I say, you think there's a substitute for me? Vioxx relieves arthritis pain, stiffness, and inflammation. Just one pill, once a day, can provide lasting 24-hour relief. So you can have nights with less pain and mornings with less stiffness. People with allergic reactions such as asthma to aspirin or other arthritis medicines should not take Vioxx. In rare cases, serious stomach problems such as bleeding can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have liver or kidney disease or a history of heart attack, angina, or a blocked artery in your heart. Ask your doctor about Vioxx for the relief of arthritis, pain, and stiffness. And find out if a free sample is right for you. Vioxx, for everyday victories. Itchy rash a problem? Not anymore. New Cordae cooling spray with hydrocortisone stops itch on contact. Cordae, the cool way to stop the itch. Want more from dry food? More hungry for life? Lots of choice. All the nutrition. Great taste. More when I want it. More crunch. More out of life. More frisky. Wet foods, treats, and dry food with all the choice and taste of Frisky. For more. News this morning. Coverage you can count on. 
And at 825, take a live look at the snag on I-20 westbound and I-285. We've been telling you about these problems all morning. We'll update triple team traffic in just a moment. Good morning, I'm Warren Beck. And I'm Pam Martin, meteorologist Karen Mitten, joining us with a look at our current weather conditions. Karen? Well, this morning we have had a few clouds, but it's really mostly sunny everywhere right at the moment. And temperatures are moving up, too, as a result of that. We're at 68 degrees at this time. And during the day, we're going to be warming it to 75 by noon, around 79 by 4 o'clock. Thank you, Karen. Mark Aram has been telling us about the problems on 285 for hours now. Any progress at all, Mark? Yeah, unfortunately not, Pam. They have been dealing with this all morning long, and no word when they're going to be able to reopen all lanes of 285. Let's go up to the sky and get the latest from Captain Herb Emery. This mess started this morning just after 5 o'clock. Truck lost a load of some slippery stuff. It flipped over a bread truck when it hit the deal. They're still trying to get the substance cleared up. There's still only one left lane open on 285 northbound at South Cobb Drive. And you are gridlocked back toward Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, Cascade Road on the inner loop. All right, thanks, Herb. As a result, the inner loop, like you said, a major mess. Take a live look at traffic tracker 2. This is 285 northbound as you head up from Martin Luther King Jr. Drive up to the crash scene. Folks avoiding the west side perimeter have fled to downtown Atlanta, and that is a major mess as you make your way up on the downtown connector northbound from before Hartsfield-Jackson all the way into midtown Atlanta and Shousford Road. Still a mess because of a water main break. Take a look at the scene here between 575 and Bells Ferry Road. Authorities still clearing up this overnight water main break. Highway 92, Chastain Road. Good alternates to I-575. I'm Mark Aram, Triple Team Traffic, Channel 2 Action News this morning. Thank you, Mark. Captain Herb, one man under arrest for an overnight fight at a rooming house. Police tell us an elderly man was thrown from a second-story window during the argument. It happened around 1 this morning on Glenwood Avenue in northeast Atlanta. A SWAT team was called in to get the 35-year-old suspect to surrender. The victim is being treated for serious injuries at Grady Hospital. Governor Sonny Perdue is expected to sign the Hope Scholarship Reform Bill today, and that could cut some funding for some students. The new bill, which takes effect July 1st, limits the credit hours for which technical students can receive grants. Current plans call for counting course credits for students as far back as last summer, which would end stipends sooner for most students. Nearly 100,000 tech students use the Hope Scholarship. Meteorologist Karen Mitten, Severe Weather Center 2. Our temperatures are already starting to warm up now that the sunshine is coming down in full force. But this afternoon, clouds will be beginning to build up, giving us a chance for some isolated showers and some thunderstorms. That Bermuda High is acting like a nice little moisture pump. In your five-day forecast, we'll have a 40% chance for isolated thunderstorms today, tomorrow, and then it gets less and less as we go through the week. Thank you, Karen, and thank you for counting on Channel 2 Action News. Join us again at 8.56, and you can get updates on this morning's top stories at WSBTV.com. And be sure to join John Pruitt and Monica Coffin today on Channel 2 Action News at 5, 6, and 11. Stay tuned now for more Good Morning America. For more coverage you can count on, log on to our website at WSBTV.com. ABC News, winner of the prestigious Peabody Award for Broadcasting Excellence. We check with our customers and ask them, how did you find us? And they let us know from the real yellow pages from Bell South or on realpages.com. Realpages.com is what we're using now to get some international business. We have grown considerably with realpages.com. They give us the constant feed of business that we need. And it's constant. And it's constant. Don't miss your chance to advertise. Call 1-800-GET-REAL. This is it. Will the bachelor pick Jessica or Tara? I'm freaking out a little bit. Two women. It's, it's a scary feeling. Two hours. This is big. Too good to miss. I just don't want to go. The Bachelor two hour season finale, 9, 8 central, ABC Wednesday. Zachary says their food is prepared at or true or false. True. Let's find out. Well, come on, for real. You just grab like a kicking chicken sandwich out of a bin somewhere, right? Oh, no. We make everything when it's ordered. So you're going to make this sandwich fresh right now? Huh? Right now. Now, now? Yeah. Now, now. Wow, wow. Speaking of wow, check this out. Wow. Whoa. You know what? I'm starving. Zaxby's. A fresh approach to chicken. Chicken, chicken up! Oh, now this is going to make someone very happy. Illegally dumped grease clogging our sewers. Tonight at 6 on Channel 2.
Friday. Get ready. One, two, three. It's Outcast live in concert. A funkadelic good time. As Sears presents Good Morning America's summer concert series. And this Friday, it all blasts off with Outcast. Only on Good Morning America. Inside, outside, all around the town. Welcome back to Good Morning America. Good to have you all here. I'm Charles Gibson. We do welcome you back. We have got a very full half hour, full of Olympians. We'll, we'll tell you about that in a moment. That's right. We also have Denise Brown, who is the sister of Nicole Brown Simpson, and it is 10 years now since the O.J. Simpson verdict, and Denise Brown is going to speak out, among other things, about Marsha Clark, the prosecutor. And uh, I think everybody's going to be a little surprised to hear what she has to say. And as you say, we've got an Olympic gold medal kind of day here. We have a lot of Olympians here. First of all, we have a swimsuit fashion show. Who better to show that off than members of the U.S. Olympic swim team? We will talk uh, about swimsuit fashions for this year. And then right out here in the middle of Times Square, out on the island, we have some of the Olympic gymnasts that you will see in Athens this summer. Oh, my. <laughs> doing that. things that the human body cannot do. <laughs> uh, wow. Indeed, they'll be performing for us, and we'll talk a little bit about the prospect in Athens. So we'll get to all that in just a few moments. It is really a three-ring circus here in this half hour, but let's get up to the news desk and Robin Roberts. All right, Charlie, thank you. Good morning again, everyone. A suicide bomber has delivered another blow to efforts aimed at stabilizing Iraq. The head of Iraq's governing council was killed in a car bombing in central Baghdad, along with at least five others. A senior White House official tells ABC News the attack will not affect next month's handover of power. In Massachusetts, same-sex couples are getting marriage licenses and making history. It's now the one state to legalize same-sex marriages. Couples lined up to be among the first to get a license, and judges plan to waive the usual waiting period and perform ceremonies beginning today. The name O.J. Simpson conjures up the case that riveted the country. For much of the past decade, Denise Brown has remained silent about the deaths of her sister, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ronald Goldman, but now she is speaking out, especially about prosecutor Marsha Clark. What an insensitive human being this woman truly was. When I first went up to her office, I was appalled. And, you know, and what I saw was my, a poster, this, well, it was a huge poster of my sister's head probably about this big, with her throat cut open. Marcia Clark should have had the decency to put that stuff away, but her comment was, it's like furniture to me. Oh, I forgot it was there. I mean, please. Today, Denise Brown still resents what was written about her own family by prosecutor Marcia Clark. She has no qualms about slamming Clark for the book she wrote seven years ago about the O.J. Simpson case and about Brown's sister, Nicole. You know, she gets $4.2 million to write a book and trash my family. The strangest family that she's ever met. She claims that Nicole would have never gotten out of the abusive situation she was in, knowing our family. Not guilty of the crime of murder. Denise Brown also lashes out at trial tactics by Simpson's lawyers. Johnny Cochran turned this into a racial issue, a total fiasco. I think that Judge Ito, he, and he's still sitting on the bench. It's like, oh my gosh, how could they let a man that screwed up so badly sit on the bench still. We were unable to get a comment from Prosecutor Marsha Clark, former Prosecutor Marsha Clark. Brown also says she's busy running the Nicole Brown Charitable Foundation and hopes to break ground in the next year for Nicole's House, which provides housing for abuse victims. She says there was one positive result of cameras in the Simpson courtroom that the world learned more about domestic violence. And we will hear more from Denise, Denise Brown tomorrow. That's the latest news, 834. The latest weather, back outside of Tony Perkins. Tony? All right, thank you very much, Robin. Uh, is, I got a hair, you know, that's my ear right there. Uh, before we get to the weather, this young lady is Charlene. Where are you from, Charlene? Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Her go sign. Pacers! What's that? Go Pacers! Yeah, go Pacers, there you go. Uh, it took, all right, everyone calm down. Uh, it took me 40 years to get to Good Morning America. You've been a fan that long? Yes, I have for 40 years. You've been watching all that time? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah from are you aware that the show has only been on for about 30 years? No. Yeah. <laughs> So for 10 years, you were like watching Romper yeah. Room and right. just dreaming of right. this stuff. Right. 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 Also, now it says it took me 40 years to get to GMA, and you're from Indianapolis? Uh, Brownsburg, Indiana. It's just so right you, outside of Indianapolis. It took a very long path to get yes, here. I, did. I have saved up for 40 years to just stand right next to you. Well, I'm <laughs> 
Justin, you deserve a hug. All right. Let's take a look at what's happening with the weather around the nation for tomorrow. Here we go, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Could see some severe storms. You're welcome. Some severe storms and some flooding in portions of the uh, middle section of the country into the northeast. Cannot rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado in the midsection of the country, not in the northeast. Rain also in the northwest. We'll also see rain showers in the southeast. Your high temperatures for the nation for tomorrow. Take a look. Here we go. Phoenix, 101 tomorrow. That is well above normal. Denver tops out at 75 degrees. Atlanta, you should see 79 degrees for high tomorrow. That's a look at what's happening with the weather around the nation. Now, here's what's happening in your neighborhood. Good morning. I'm Karen Minton. Temperatures this morning are in the 60s. We'll be on the way to the mid-70s by noon, around 79 by 4 o'clock. And there will be some isolated showers and thunderstorms. In your five-day forecast, we're going to have more chances of isolated thunder showers all the way through Friday. Uh, let's see, this weather report was brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Thank you very much for coming. Diane, back to you. Okay, thanks, Tony. Well, no matter how much we want to say, wait, I'm not in shape yet, I'm not ready, it is summer swimsuit time. Time to go out and take a look at some of the hot new fashions. And we're going to be seeing them all at the beach, and we thought, who better to model them than some of the leading contenders for the U.S. Olympic swim team. With me, Kate Betts, the editor of Time Style and Design Magazine, is going to tell us a little bit about the new styles, what we're going to see. Is there a trend? There's a color. It's a huge trend. Mm. Color, you will see we have some really beautiful, bright, fun prints, colors, some graphic looks. So Teeny little bikini thing. Not too teeny, actually. No? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. The first uh, swimmer is Jenny Thompson, and she's a 10-time gold medalist. She's wearing a Speedo, um, sort of Hawaiian print, which is a big trend this season. <laughs> I, love, I love the support from your team over there, the growls, the hoots, the howls. And, and we're sure that you said she's an eight-time Olympic gold medalist. Ten medals overall. Yeah. <laughs> she's a world champion of the 100 meter fly. Yeah. Yep, and she's also currently a pre-med student in Columbia. Right. Okay. So love this. This, this is, is a great good. look. Come Everything matches. Hello. You're very good to do this. Which is <laughs> Thank you. Swimming the 100 meter fly or this? I think standing uh, in front of national television in your bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just general. I can imagine. Come on, you're <laughs> Okay, we've got Kevin Clemens next. Will you tell us about him? Kevin is the national yeah. champion. Yeah. Kevin is the national yeah. champion in the yeah. Hornet individual medley, which is 100 of each of the four strokes, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. He almost stopped swimming about a year and a half ago, but he switched coaches and moved to Maryland, and he's doing well. He's wearing a, a surfing trunk with the same kind of Hawaiian print on it. Can I ask about yeah. how secure that is? <laughs> I'm sorry. Secure? <laughs> it is secure. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I'm fine with it. I don't want you to think I'm not, but it's a little dicey. Yeah. Anyway, it's great. Okay, coming up next, Maddie Crippen. Maddie Crippen is wearing the sort of mix and match um, tankini yeah. top and boy shorts from The Gap. And this is the kind of look that's very popular. You can sort of put your own swimsuit together by choosing a different top and bottom. And we should say she made it to the finals of the 400 meter that's right. internal medley. Internal individual, medley. Individual, individual medley. Individual medley. In fact, is what I thought. Individual medley. Yeah. Now, two piece, one piece, you're seeing both. Both, but this kind of mix and match thing is a big trend. Okay. Right foot prints, you know, um, right. bikini top with boy shorts. And Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Backstroker. He's a world champion in the 100 and 200 meter backstroke and very good prospects for this summer. He's wearing a, a Nike surfing trunk, again, in a kind of bright lime green color. Aaron, I think, you, I think you have to work on some of your posing attitudes, you know, <laughs> those things. <laughs> and Margaret Holzer. Margaret is the yeah. world champ, world medalist in the backstroke, another backstroker. <laughs> Coming on strong on the scene, world swimming. She's wearing a Ralph Lauren tank. This is very part of the sort of graphic trend, black with white trim, halter tank, and uh, 
it's, you know, athletic, but also still very stylish. Okay, I think we need the whole parade here. Come on, everybody. Come on back out again. Jenny, go on up. We'll take a look. And let's carry for our Olympic hopefuls. What's this represent in terms of talent? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. You were great. And this is it. We've got the gym. You know what surprises people most about Jenny Craig's Ultimate Choice program? The food's fantastic. We've never eaten better in our lives. Jenny Craig actually costs us less than what we were spending on takeout every night. Jenny Craig's Ultimate Choice program gives you personal support with simple ways to lose weight that fit the way you live. I lost 35 pounds. I lost 25. Now I've got the body of a 20-year-old. Right. Lose 20 pounds for just $20 plus the cost of food. Jenny Craig, it works. 1-800-Jenny-20. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're going to sit there and watch this poor woman get hit again? You know you need this gutter guard system. And right now we're offering the biggest discounts of the year. There's nothing down, no payments, no interest for a full year. Just call this number. Okay, roll it. Very funny. For a free quote, call Dixie Gutter Guard at 770-621-0204. I'll go. All right, you two. That's enough goofing around. I think I'm afraid. Time to turn off the light. Wait, Mom. I just got to the best part. This moment brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center. We begin by identifying your child's specific needs, followed by individual attention, personalized lesson plans, and progress reports for you. 28 area locations. Call 1-800-EDUCATE today. Hi, sweetie. I'm making us grilled cheese sandwiches. Want to help? Sure. Ah. Here, Grandma. This works better. Well, I guess it does. Land O'Lakes, spreadable butter with canola oil. Real Land O'Lakes butter with a touch of canola oil to make it softer. Spread the taste your family grew up with right from the fridge. From Land O'Lakes. This is it. Will the bachelor pick Jessica or Tara? I'm freaking out a little bit. Two women. It's, it's a scary feeling. Two hours. It's big. Too good to miss. I just don't want to go. The Bachelor, two hours season finale, 9, 8 central, ABC Wednesday. Performances by Motown's biggest stars alongside some really famous fans. Motown is timeless. Motown is the sound of young America. Motown 45, tonight at 8, 7 central, only on ABC. We have with us here in Times Square some members of the U.S. National Gymnastics team right here on the balance beam flying through Times Square as we say, and Chelsea Memel is going to be sort of our commentator for the morning, telling us what's going on here. Tell me who we're seeing and what we're seeing here. This is Nicole Harris, and all the girls are part of the national team. And, and she's doing her just not right now. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she that we, we have some young Olympic hopefuls over here, all with signs that say 10 on them. <laughs> now tell me who this is. This is Tia Orlando. And... You know, that is four inches wide, right? That beam? Yeah. It always looks to me like it's about a half an inch wide. Impossible. How does it look to you when you're oh. on it? It looks pretty small when you're standing on it, but you're used to it. We practice a lot. Another great dismount. By the way, don't we find out tomorrow if New York is going to be is, if New York is going to be a finalist on hosting the game in 2012? Yeah. So we're right in the Olympic spirit. And this is Crystal is left. Very nice. the concentration. What are you thinking, Chelsea, when you're up there? Are you, does your mind just free, or do you are you just concentrating on the beam? What are you thinking about? Yeah, you just concentrate on your skills because, you know, you've practiced it so many times. And mm -hmm. But there is that pause. When you're pausing, are you going through 
because it usually comes right before a very difficult movement. Yeah. Does it usually, are you really picturing that movement in your mind? Yeah, you're concentrating on, you know, what you're going to do next, always. And who is this? This is Nicole Harris. Oh, I'm sorry, Nicole's back up. Yeah. I'm sorry, we have, we have a repeat here. Yeah. Okay. Hardest thing to do on the balance beam? I don't know, it varies for every person. To stay on the beam? Yeah. <laughs> Hardest for you? Me? Um, I don't know. I. And when you're learning this, how many times do you fall off? No kidding. You fall off quite a lot, especially, you know, when you said learning the skill, you know, for the first time. You just have to learn how to land yeah. gently as yeah. much as you can. How much time do you work out every day? I mean, I know you're hurt right now, yeah. but normally... Yeah. Uh, normally, uh, about good. four to five hours, maybe even more. Now tell me, I, you, uh, you did limp over here, sort of, and yeah. I don't know if yeah. you did a cast on your foot. <laughs> yeah. What happened, and what's up? I broke my foot on the beam, and I should hopefully get this off in about a week and a half. So you're going to be okay? Yeah. yeah. And the team's chances, because uh, they've done so well yeah. this year. Tell me the team's chances. The team's chances are really good, especially, you know, we have such a great team, and the depth is amazing. They do That's have correct. amazing depth. We come on over here with me. Hop up, no, hop Jack, up come here. Come on, Chelsea. And okay. we have two-time national champion in rhythmic gymnastics, Mary Sanders, who's with us as well this morning. person in the history of the sport to break her foot while working on the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> I got, oh, look that, that would be my foot, thank That's you. That's right. But yeah, how difficult is it, Mary? Because when you're doing, easy. when you're not just doing that, but also the way you're making your body move and the positions that you're putting your body in. Right, it's a lot of eye-hand coordination as well. We throw a lot. We're playing and lax right now. <laughs> it takes a lot of <laughs> <laughs> concentration, I guess it's okay. Meanwhile, okay. back up on the balance beam, we have... Oh, well. oh. We have more going on. And this again is... Tia Orlando. Tia Orlando. Up on the again. Well, we wish all of you great, great success in Athens. And I hope your foot recovers and we'll be back at it very soon. Good to have you with us, Chelsea, as always. Hang in there, Chelsea. Absolutely. Good luck. We'll be back. Wow. On the next live, it's live Mutt America pageant. Find out which 10 talented canines are the semifinalists. Plus Angel's David Boreanaz and American Idol's latest vote off next live. Today at 9, sponsored by the Georgia Lottery Corporation. It's Kia's big event under the tent. All the cheap metals gonna fly. It's up to $2,500 cash back. It's up for grabs. Witness the spacious Sedona go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the powerful Sorento. 
And in the brawl to settle it all, see the sporty Spectra mix it up with the affordable Rio. And they all weigh in with the longest warranty in the business. So don't miss Kia's big event under the tent. At your greater Metro Atlanta Kia retailers, May 8th through 30th. Be there. America's number one furniture company does it again. Rooms to Go now has the newest looks at extra hot prices. Yours with no money down, no minimum purchase, no payments, and no interest until May 2006. That's May 2006. No interest adding up, no penalties, no interest, period. Rooms to Go pays the interest for you until May 2006. Get great new looks at extra hot prices and no payments until May 2006. It's the real deal now at Rooms to Go. Give your baby every advantage with Good Start Supreme DHA and ARA. The only formula designed for baby's brain and eye development and with comfort proteins that are broken down to be easy to digest. No other formula does more. Nestle Good Start Supreme DHA and ARA. It's the good start that'll last a lifetime. Learn more about Good Start Supreme DHA and ARA online. Before you let someone watch your kid, beware. The baby start waking up with nightmares. Is what he caught on a nanny cam the reason? Plus, Caitlin died when the nanny left her in a car in 100 degree heat on the next Montel. Today at 10 a.m. on Channel 2. This type of amnesia is tricky. We've been married for 20 years. I don't even remember it. What will it take for her to start again? Married to a stranger. At 9 tonight, for the first time on Lifetime. Tonight, the first state to legalize same-sex marriage. As hundreds line up, the debate is far from over. Plus, the dieter's dilemma. Cut the fat or cut the carbs. A side-by-side -side comparison. Finally, which is best and healthier? Tonight on World News Tonight. One of the great athletic events of 2003 were the Women's Gymnastics World Championships won by... The U.S. team? The yeah, U.S. team. USA. Indeed. And the Olympic trials for the women's team will be when? They'll be at the end of June in Anaheim. Now, what always worries me so is you guys work so hard, and it's so dicey as to who makes it and who doesn't. It's a six-women team yeah. and two alternates. Yeah. It's so hard if you're number nine. <laughs> yeah, it is, you know, but you just have to hope the best for the team. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you hope for the best for the team, but it's, you put so much work into it. And you were very much a member of the 2003 team, and that foot, I know, must bother you some. Yeah, it does, but I'm ready to start training again once my cast comes off, and I'll be ready. I wish you great luck. And, and the trials Mary? for you will be when? San Jose State University, June 19th. And how many rhythmic gymnasts will go? Um, top eight national team will go fighting for one spot in the Olympic Games. One, one spot, spot in the one. Olympic Games. <laughs> I wish you great success. Thank you. Because I know you train so hard and it is such a big deal for all of you. Good luck to you, Chelsea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank all of you as well. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. And Star 94, Steve and Vicky. This Thursday morning, big news. Yeah, we're giving away $15,000. Just put your radio on 94.1 FM and listen Thursday morning at 720. We'll announce the birthday in this envelope. If it matches yours, you could win 15 grand. Another local winner guaranteed. Oh. Star 94, always number one for today's hit music, plus free money. So this Thursday morning at 720, you could make toast. Or win $15,000. That's a lot of toast. There's no better place than Orlando to share great times with your family. And there's no better time to go than now. At the Walt Disney World Resort, the first five days of magic are priceless. The next two are free. When you buy a five-night Walt Disney World vacation package, including theme park tickets, you get two additional nights for free. Call 407-WDW-SAVE and ask about the 5 plus 2 offer. So get away to a place known for bringing families closer. Orlando, bring your family together. Be sirloin roundup down at IHOP. It's sirloin roundup at IHOP with dishes like sirloin steak Caesar salad, juicy steak skillet, and smothered top sirloin steak dinner. Get to IHOP now for our sirloin roundup, but hurry and feed the stampede. IHOP, come hungry, leave happy. 
The all-new Dodge Durango is making it to the top of a lot of lists. It came in first in a car and driver full-size SUV comparison test. It received five stars, the highest government frontal crash test rating. And since it's roomier and more powerful than Explorer or Trailblazer, lots of American families are making Durango their first choice. See your Dodge dealer and put the all-new Durango at the top of your list, too. Qualified buyers who finance through Chrysler Financial get an additional $1,000 for a total combined cash allowance of $4,500 on Durango. WSB-TV Channel 2 is Georgia's family television station and an equal opportunity employer. WSB-TV hires without regard to race, religion, color, sex, age, disability, or national origin. WSB-TV Channel 2, an equal opportunity employer. Good Morning America is brought to you by Lincoln. There are those who travel and those who travel well. So happy Monday to you. Hope it's a great week. We'll see you again tomorrow morning early. And thanks again. Bye-bye. To all of our great athletes. Bye. Bye. For the latest video highlights, log on to America Online, keyword ABC News. This has been a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source. Katie Seagal, plus John Mayer performs live today on The View. Last night, Super Millionaire returned with a vengeance. Scott was back in the hot seat. Final answer. And double dipped his way to a cool half million. Yes, you got it! But $10 million is still up for grabs. Yeah. Super Millionaire, night two, 10, 9 central, ABC Tonight. Live, local, late-breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News this morning. Coverage you can count on. It is 8.56. Good morning to you. I'm Pam Martin. And I'm Warren Savage. We'll update weather and traffic in a moment. First in the news, several homes damaged in an overnight water main break. It happened on Shallowfoot Road near I-575 in Cobb County. Officials estimate 1 to 3 million gallons of water leaked from the aging 36-inch pipe. Motors should avoid Shallowford Road between Bells Ferry and Canton Highway. We'll update the situation today on Channel 2 Action News at noon. There could soon be some permanent outdoor watering restrictions. The State Department of Natural Resources is holding a public hearing today on the matter. The plan to limit outdoor water use even in non-drought conditions. And again, we will also update you on that story today at noon. And the jam persists on the perimeter. Here's Mark Aaron. Yeah, only two left lanes open now, Warren. 285 northbound, the interloop between South Cobb Drive and the Chattahoochee River Bridge. As a result, traffic on the perimeter, well, let's just show you, live on Traffic Tracker 2. This is the interloop heading up from Martin Luther King Jr. Drive at the I-20 interchange. It is stacked up all the way to South Cobb Drive. And a lot of folks trying to avoid the west side perimeter have headed downtown. 285 is a packed house, so folks say, all right, we'll take the downtown town connector as a result bumper to bumper stuff heading up through Hartsfield Jackson Airport all the way into Midtown Atlanta and that water main break causing a big delay as well out of northern Cobb County west of 575. I'm Mark Aram, Triple Team Traffic, Channel 2 Action News this morning. Thanks Mark. Well let's get a look at our weather. Here's meteorologist Karen Mitten. Good morning Karen. Good morning. Skies are mostly sunny in many areas this morning but we're also going to have a buildup of clouds as we go through the afternoon and as we do that We'll end up with a few isolated thunder showers later today in a high near 79. Thank you, Karen, and thank you for counting on Channel 2 Action News. Join us again today at noon. You can also get updates on our top stories and weather at WSBTV.com. And be sure to join John Pruitt and Monica Kaufman today on Channel 2 Action News at 5, 6, and 11, live with Regis and Kelly, coming your way next. It's Toyota's nationwide sales drive at your Toyota dealer, featuring a crowd-pleasing car selection, outstanding quality, and amazing values. Race to get great deals like a thousand cash back on the stylish 04 Corolla CE. Or sign and drive the 04 Corolla CE for just $209 a month for 48 months with absolutely zero due at signing. Hurry to your local Toyota dealer today or visit buyatoyota.com. The race is on. Don't miss this event. Toyota's nationwide sales drive at your Toyota dealer now. Bad carpeting. It's a sight for sore eyes, not to mention tired feet. Do something about it this month. National Karistan Month at Carpets of Dalton. That's right, you can save all this month on the world's most admired area rugs. The quality and style of Karistan. Save 50% on all Karistan area rugs. The largest selection of Karistan area rugs anywhere. And you'll find special limited savings on Karistan carpet too. Visit the nation's largest floor covering store, the amazing Carpets of Dalton campus in Dalton, Georgia. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Can you think of a better reason for Botox Cosmetic? Ask your doctor if it's right for you or visit BotoxCosmetic.com to find an experienced physician in your area. Stay tuned for Montel next right after Regis and Kelly. It's live with Regis and Kelly. Today, he plays the heartthrob vampire on the Supernatural series Angel, actor David Boreanaz. And her exit from American Idol left viewers in shock. A performance from the very talented LaToya London. Plus, get ready to vote for your favorite pooch. We announce the 10 semifinalists in Live's Mutt America pageant. All next on Live. Monday, May 17th, 2004. A little cloudy out there, a little cool, but not bad. What are you looking at over here? Well, I'm looking at all the dog houses with yeah. the pictures of people in the them. The beginning of Mutt America. And those are the people who sent in their dogs. And those are some of the dogs, I guess, we'll be seeing as the week progresses. Uh, are these the runners-up, so to speak? Are these the people that didn't make it? hasn't been decided yet. These are entries. These are entries. Today's entries. Some may win, some may not. Yeah. Right, but we're going to meet our finalists. Is that right? I Today you'll see our semi-finalists. Semi-finalists. Okay. Be between you and me, honestly, these people are not them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's little baby is called Apple. Yeah. Little Apple. <laughs> and there it is, right there. Big First baby. photos in the New York Post. She had a big one. Little Apple. <laughs> Here's the apple of their eye. <laughs> nice, eh? Beauty. Now, the, the father's name is Martin, so if um, the uh, child along the years wanted to go Italian and change Martin to Martini, it could be Apple Martini. <laughs> Not fair, huh? You like that? That's a gorgeous. That, that is a new name, I mean, of all the new names that are coming along now. Apple, I've never apple. heard that one before. Hey, why not? Well, apple. why not is right. Cute as an apple. Yep. Sweet as an apple. <sighs> Apple of my eye. <laughs> I got a okay. million of them. <laughs> what were you going to say? What? I wasn't going to say anything. No, you got a what? I said I've got a million of them. Sure do. I'm a little tired. I did that millionaire show last night. No, really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> you did the millionaire show? How'd yeah. it go? Well, tell we me had, all about it. We had a lady it. on there whose husband had been out of work for six months. Oh. And two children, and she's a medical transcriber at home. And, and she was the contestant? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, boy, I was pulling for her, you know, and she had a big decision to make at 50000 And if she went for the 100000 and missed, of course, she goes back to 5000 and loses $45,000. Right. She makes it, you know, and so everybody's holding their breath, and she made it. And at least she wound up with 100000 But everybody loved this gal and was hoping she'd go for more. Right. You know, anyway, 100,000 isn't bad, is it? 100,000 no. is great. Are you well, it's 10 million more, you know, out there. But, uh, Do you think somebody will win $10 million? I, it's going to be awfully hard, I think. They're going to have to have a lot of guts because, you know, if you lose, uh, you go right back down to 100,000. And once you get up to two and a half million or five million, it's hard to proceed unless you're absolutely positive of the answer but you get those three extra life two extra yeah you two do. or three two two extra lifelines three life the wise three men. wise guys and, and it's <laughs> wise men and incidentally they would like you to join them would you care to go down there and and be a wise guy a, a wise man <laughs> well you're a wise man already but a wise woman i'm talking i, th I think it'd be funny if it was the three wise guys and they like beat up the other contestants <laughs> my wise guy lifeline and they come over with like a baseball bat <laughs> beat you up yeah well is that your final answer Reach? <laughs> how about our hairdresser and Woo! our makeup lady Michelle Champagne, Diane D'Agostino winning the Emmys for their Emmy work on award winning uh, for their work on this show can yes. you believe it for restoring the Crypt Keepers, they win Emmy. That's nice. Congratulations to both I of said, them. I said I was so excited, so very excited for them, and then and then it flipped, and I was like, wait a minute, what's so awful?
awful with me that they should get an Emmy for doing my makeup. <laughs> what does that award mean? <laughs> more and more people have seen you before the makeup. I know. No, actually, it's for the Halloween show. Mm -hmm. What did we play Halloween? Do you remember? Well, we played everything. Don't you remember? We were Pam, Pam and Tommy. No, Pam and Kid. And you were Tommy. Right. Pam Anderson, Kid Rock, yeah, Tommy right, Lee. Yeah, right. That's right. And then we were Demi and Ashton. Yeah. And then we were Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Mark Antony. Yeah, I was Cleopatra. She was Mark Antony. <laughs> and then, and who were you, Caesar? Who were you? You were wearing some kind of dress. I That's all I know. It wasn't. It was a leather skirt. <laughs> you were wearing a skirt. Um, who else? There was one more, wasn't there? There was one more. Batman, Batman and Catwoman. Oh, yeah. Batman and uh, and Batboy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bat, uh, Batman and Adam. What's his name? Ba Batman and Adam. <laughs> Batwoman. Rock, rock. Batman and Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, you, well, you are know, tired. You know who's coming out to be a hero now? Nobody knew. N women didn't know and men didn't know. Men who, who are his guy's friend had no idea. Now, this Janice Dickinson, who's running around yeah. town with his new book, talking about all the men she has known? Yes. Well, she says of all the men she has known, the one she is currently knowing uh, is... Uh, John Lovett. The all-time champ. Yes, the champ. Yes. She says. Who knew John Lov Lovett would yes. be so, let's say, dynamic? <laughs> let's say resourceful? Let's say unbelievable. Well, let's just say this. There are parts of him that she really, really, really likes. <laughs> what? We're just quoting what's in the press. John and what Lovett. she said here on our very show. But we're talking about John Lovett. <laughs> Everyone talking has a Talking about gift. anybody else? <laughs> we're not talking about any big guys. We're talking about John Lovett. <laughs> our personal new hero. Now, everyone has that special something that sets yeah. them apart. That's right. <laughs> and apparently, he's <laughs> met the gym yesterday. Mm hmm. And at the gym, there is Reverend Al. No kidding. Yeah. Reverend <gasps> Al is in the gym and working hard and sprucing up that image. Al Sharpton, one of the great New York characters. Now, do you know Reverend Al? Yeah. Okay. So I go over to Reverend Al. Of course you do. I say, Reverend Al, I was watching Saturday Night Live last night. Was he on? Well, the, one of the kids who plays him was on. Oh, right. <laughs> and so they, they had a debate, you know, between Carl Rove, one of Bush's uh, lieutenants, and uh, Kerry. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly up pops Reverend Al. Right. Well, Reverend Al tore down the house. The audience loved him. Right. And he began to tell me that he hosted Saturday Night Live. Right. Earlier this year. Was yes, one of he, the right after I did it, he did it. Yeah, and he, he got a tremendous rating, one of the highest ratings and all that. And so he, so now Reverend Al is about to go into the talk show field. Reverend Al is going over to CNBC, going to do his own talk show. Now, they've got Dennis Miller, mm -hmm. Johnny Mac, mm -hmm. and Reverend Al. <laughs> That's a crazy lineup. Come on. <laughs> That's going to be one. The three wise guys. <laughs> You know, they would make a good team, wouldn't they? they would. Johnny Mac on sports and uh, Dennis Miller. Yeah, it'd be wonderful. That'd be great. Anyway, I said to Reverend Al, look, uh, you know, you've got a great sense of humor, and he does, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can't all talk politics. You've got to say, oh, I'm not going to do that. He says, I'm going to do, give him the whole, all of Reverend Al. So all of Reverend Al. <laughs> so that's, that's what I, I just want all of Reverend Al. <laughs> so that's going to be a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. So what do you do this weekend? Well, we had a beautiful Saturday. We went out to Gretchen nice. and Willie's house yeah. with the kids for beautiful. a little cookout. And he had that game that went into 13 innings yeah, or something. Yeah, Yankees should have won it in the night. So yeah. Oh, God, so. bases loaded. One man out. Can't get anybody in. Right. So that was bad. That was a, that was a bad night. But does, he Willie go, does Willie take the game home with him? Um, he, he walked in the door with the game, but then we made him make us pina coladas, and he forgot all about them. <laughs> it was great. We were there to sure. make him forget. Yeah, sure. By putting him to work. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we went to Cirque du Soleil yesterday in Randall's Island. You guys have to go. It's amazing. Alegria. And it was very cute. We had the, the three kids there, and, um, and so, you know, it's always, tall people always sit in front of children. It's just inevitable. It's just, we were almost sitting on the stage. We had really good seats. But there was like a, a couple of rows in front of us. And in those rows were people who clearly played basketball. <laughs> <laughs> they were very 
that's, so we, that's tough, isn't we it? had booster seats, but I sat I sat on a booster seat, and then I ha and then I had Lola and Joaquin on my lap, and then Michael was on Mark's lap. So there were.